30. 30 seconds. Centaur at flight press. Vehicle's now pressurized for flight. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Starliner. All systems are go for liftoff. Go Starliner. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and liftoff. Starliner is headed back to space on the shoulders of Atlas, powered by a workforce dedicated to its success. Have burnout on both SRBs. Good crew module forward link connection. Our humanity is traveling back up to full thrust. And we have indication of SRB jettison. Atlas continues to ascend. And we have Pico booster engine cutoff. Successful sta success staging. Pre start on the arrow tip. We have ignition on both RL 10s. And we have confirmation of Starliner separation. And Starliner is flying alone on its way to orbit. And we're working on a finalized uh, FAI, as mentioned. And we are seeing really good video from the EHDC. Station copies, we uh, see the same 10 meter hold, uh, vehicle mode is hold set seven. Uh, we have uh, brought up the 10 meter hold this overlay and understand the uh, updated um, time for the uh, initiation of uh, docking uh, this one. Agreed. Station Houston Space Ground 2 for docking status. I wanted to let you know that um, a few of the NDS components did not go to the uh, an intended config. Therefore, we need to retract the docking ring to reset the system. We're expecting that to take about 30 minutes. One meter to docking, less than 20 seconds. Press the dock. Contact, capture. Boeing Starliner spacecraft completes its historic first docking to the International Space Station, opening a new avenue of access for crews to the orbiting laboratory. That docking time comes at 7.28 p.m. Central Time. The International Space Station was 271 statute miles over the South Indian Ocean with the Starliner attached to its forward port. 